What does the Bible say about peace? And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with you all. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. In peace I will both lay down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, makes me dwell in safety. May the God of hope Fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may be abound in hope. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. And a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulations, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies be at peace with him. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to the Lord. The Lord lifts up his countenance upon you and gives you peace. Finally, brothers, rejoice, aim for restoration, comfort one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. He was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace and with his wounds we were healed. For the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but the steadfast love shall not depart from you, and my covenant of peace shall not be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you.
Oh, that you had paid attention to my commandments. Then your peace would have been like a river, and your righteousness like the waves of the sea. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the nations like an overflowing stream, and you shall nurse, you shall be carried upon her hip, and bounced upon her knees. Great peace have those who love your law, nothing can make them stumble. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Deceit is in the heart of those who devise evil, but in those who plan peace have joy.